My mum was still breastfeeding when she found out she was pregnant with me. I am testament that breastfeeding is not always good enough for contraception. She thought she couldn't get pregnant because she was doing all the right things. She was breastfeeding regularly and her periods hadn't come back. But surprise, here I am. As an obstetrics and gynecology doctor, I see women surprised by this all the time. So in this video, I want to break down how breastfeeding does not always protect you from pregnancy. I'm Dr. Remy, an obstetrics and gynecology resident with over 10 years of experience in the NHS. I am building her health room to help postpartum women heal fully, physically, mentally, and socially, whilst also optimizing for lifelong health. Join me by subscribing to this channel, liking this video, speaking to me in the comments, because I want to make videos with you in mind. My mum had five girls, and that's something I will bring up a lot because that partly motivates me to do what I do here. I am the second oldest daughter, and whilst my mum was breastfeeding my older sibling, she was pregnant with me. So I am 13 months younger than my older sister. She would have gotten pregnant when she was four months postpartum. So you might be thinking, why would you even know this? Well, I was teasing one of the younger siblings very confidently saying, you were an accident. And my mum looked at me and she said, hmm, if anyone was an accident, I would calculate your age gap between you and your older sister. And then I've never been able to forget that. Um, so when I've asked her what she did for her first postpartum, she was breastfeeding, as she was told, as was the trend in the 80s. She was also bottle feeding and she used that to help us get to bed. And this was the 80s, so whatever, but she chose mixed feeding. And I don't think she quite registered that mixed feeding does not give you the same protection against pregnancy as exclusively breastfeeding does. And in her defense, she also hadn't had a period. And that's what a lot of women think. So today I want to unpack the science for you to really understand how you could effectively use breastfeeding as contraception, but also to be so cautious that you don't get found out, especially if you're not hoping to get pregnant so soon after. So lactational amenorrhea method is a form of contraception and if used correctly, can prevent pregnancy in 98% of cases. But these three things have to be true. Your periods haven't returned, you're exclusively breastfeeding and your baby is less than six months old. If you tick all three, then you've got a 98% chance of successfully preventing a pregnancy. But here's the cap. If breastfeeding schedules change, baby is sleeping later, any real change in your routine, your hormone levels can do a real quick shift and your ovaries, which are suppressed by breastfeeding, can just wake up, ovulate, and hey presto, you have a baby. And so you might be like, well, I can't be ovulating. I haven't had a period yet. That's not necessarily true. You will often ovulate before your periods come back. You might then say, well, I would know if I was ovulating. Some women do, but that's not always the case. I'm someone who kind of prides myself on having ovulation symptoms. There are definitely months that I feel like I've missed those symptoms. I mean, my second daughter, I did not know I was ovulating when she was conceived. So let's bust those myths very clearly for you right now. You can ovulate before your period. Breastfeeding reduces fertility, but it doesn't eliminate it. And many women can ovulate without any symptoms at all. So just a quick reminder, if you want to use breastfeeding as a form of contraception, baby has to be less than six months, you have to be breastfeeding exclusively, and you mustn't have had a period come back. If any of those things change, then the effectiveness of this method reduces. So say you're not ready for a baby straight away and breastfeeding doesn't work for you because it doesn't work for lots of people. There are still lots of methods that you can use to prevent a pregnancy. I will do a video on how to choose the best postpartum contraception for you. But if you're impatient, I will link a video down below for my other channel where I spoke about hormonal contraceptives that I've used in the past and the pros and cons for each of those. But just a quick whistle stop tour. The ones that you can use while breastfeeding largely are the progesterone ones. So like the Marina Coil, the progesterone only pill, the implant. These three can really be started straight away. If you wanted to use anything that was combined, it would be sort of up to six weeks if you were breastfeeding for when you would start it. 
Other methods you could use are barrier contraception like condoms. And, and it's just really important to remember that you are a new mum, you have a new baby, maybe you have babies around the house as well. Trying to remember to take contraception can be quite tough. So whatever you choose, making sure that it lasts a reasonably long time or it doesn't rely on you to remember every single day. So yes, breastfeeding is amazing if it's something that you choose to do so or that you're lucky enough to be able to do, but it is not always effective contraception. And the three things I've mentioned in this video are for you to imprint in your brain if you are currently breastfeeding and thinking that that's enough to protect you, it may well not be if any of those things are not true. And even if all of the three things were true, you still have a 2% chance of conceiving. So it is useful, but there are other more sound ways to prevent pregnancy. So anytime you see me, remember my mum's contraceptive method did not work. She went on to space out her family way better after me, so she definitely learned her lesson. If you felt this was helpful, please subscribe to this channel. I want to hear down below what method of contraception worked for you, if at all. What would you be doing differently? And what would you recommend to someone else that would be watching? Until next time, 